somebody was Tyler um, T S Schlick or T Schlick on uh, Twitter sent this to me, and this is an article from Zaid uh, Jelani Jelani on Alternate. Um, and it is is giving Bernie Sanders' platform from almost forty years ago, and I want to read you a snippet of it. Um, he says, um, number one, I've demanded a radical revision of the state's regressive tax structure. Let us revisit a situation in which the cigarette tax, blah, blah, blah. blah that, that, so he was on his economic game back then. Um, number two. I have spoken out consistently against the barbaric war in Vietnam. Right. That was his part of his structure. Number three, uh, probably the most alarming aspect of the Nixon administration has been the gradual erosion of freedoms of the sense of the freedom of what freedom really means. The Liberty Union uh, believes that there are entirely too many laws that regulate human behavior. Let us abolish all laws which attempt to impose particular brand of morality or right on people. Let us abolish all laws dealing with abortion, drugs, sexual behavior, adultery, homosexuality, et cetera. The Liberty Union is engaging its third campaign in Vermont, and there's no question in my mind that we will do better than we have ever done before. We are running a slate of four, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there's some other things. I, I, so anyway, I'll share this on the screen, or actually I'll retweet. Thank you, uh, Tyler Schlick. Um, well, his name is much longer than that. But um, you can see 40 years ago, he was telling them, essentially, we need to, uh, and this is back with Nixon. <laughs> Let's abolish all laws dealing with abortion, drugs, sexual behavior, and so that you weren't misunderstood, he includes adultery and homosexuality in there to take those laws off the books. <sighs> But because Bernie Sanders said in 1982 that we want to celebrate uh, marriage between a man and a woman, um, and in 1982, it wasn't even about marriage equality. It was about people being able to simply live publicly. That was like the beginning. I am not a historian on the LGBTQ community, right? I'm sure somebody in the audience can call in right now and, and read me on the exact place the LGBTQ movement was in 1982. But I can tell you where they were not. They were not in a conversation over the definition of marriage and whether marriage is between a man and a woman and whether marriage is between two consenting adults. And such that him saying this in 1982 would have been problematic in 2016. All right, caller, you're live on the air. What's your name, comment, and or question? 